So how did I get American Horror Story? Honestly, I don't know. It could be by continuing to be albino. Let me explain real quick. So when the show was casting for the first season, I got a call. I think it was in 2010. And at the time, I believe it was my second audition ever with actual line. Up to that point, what people wanted me to do is just show up and look weird and albino. Generally creep people out. Not that shit changed after that. This year was the first year that I've ever read for anything having to do with comedy. And total time in Hollywood, I've probably only had maybe 50 auditions. And at most, 15 auditions where I actually had lines. And all of those were in the past two years. I have a manager that sees me as more than just an albino. Anyway, I'm not telling you all that. So you feel sorry for me. I'm telling you all that because I want y'all to know I wanted this part. So I go in for the audition. It was to play this like ghost in the basement. Woo! Or some monster or something. Get in the audition room feeling good. Bam! Worst audition of my life. Still. And I'm not being humble. It was trash. So trash that I'm leaving the audition in a suit and tie, talking on my phone, talking on my phone to my friend Johnny while power eating cupcakes. May have also been a fair bit of tears. I questioned my whole career until I got on the city bus and was like, looking around this bus, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. Sir. I need you to put your penis back, back in your pants. Thank you. I ain't think about that show for three years. I didn't watch it. I didn't read reviews. Fuck that show. One day, I think it was 2012. I'm leaving the comedy store. It's like nine at night. I'm crossing the street. I get a phone call. Pick it up. Hello? Yeah, hi. Who's this? Is this Nathan Hurd? Nathan Hurd. Yeah, this is Nathan Hurd. Can I ask you, do you still live in Hollywood? Yeah, I still live. Who this? Who's this? Yeah, my name is Kevin. Hey, are you still albino? What? You're, you're a black albino, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a casting director uh, from Amer American Horror Story. You came in a couple years ago. How much dead weight can you carry? I don't know. I mean, like, I could probably carry a body. Great. Can you come in for an audition tomorrow? Yep. Click. Go into the audition the next day, not knowing what to expect. I showed up. They didn't have no lines or nothing. They didn't tell me what I was doing. They just slated me and were like, all right, good, thanks. Slating is basically just getting your profile here and here. Two days go by, they tell me that I'm flying to Louisiana to film. Three days after that, I flew to Louisiana to film. It was only supposed to be for like two days, but they ended up bringing me back for a couple more episodes that season. Season three. Originally, there was three of us, three guards, three dudes with black, albi uh, black albino. But for the other two episodes that season, they only called me back. And then they replaced uh, Corey with another albino guy. Corey was just busy, and then Sir Major was the other black albino. And he's in jail now, because fuck Sir Major. <sighs> That's for another day. Anyway, and then I got on season eight because my friend was working for an agency at the time as an assistant, and he saw that American Horror Story was looking for albino motherfuckers. I called my agent, told him to reach out to them, which he wasn't even going to do because they were not specifically looking for black albinos. Went on audition, and I got the part for season eight. Every time I got to film with them, it's been fantastic, except for Major. <laughs>